President, earlier this year you told us you had ordered your administration to cease and desist on payments to journalists uh, to promote your agenda. You cited the need for uh, ethical concerns and the need for a bright line between the press and the government. Your administration continues to make the use of video news releases, which are prepackaged news stories sent to television stations, fully aware that some or many of these stations will air them without any disclaimer that they are produced by the government. Controller General of the United States this week said that raises ethical questions. Does it raise ethical questions about the use of government money to produce stories about the government that wind up being aired with no disclosure that they were produced by the government? Uh, there, there is a Justice Department opinion that says these, um, these, these pieces are within the law so long as they're based upon facts, not advocacy. And I expect our agencies to adhere to that ruling, to that Justice Department opinion. This has been a long-standing practice of the federal government uh, to use uh, these uh, types of videos. Uh, the Agricultural Department, as I understand, has been using these videos for a long period of time. Uh, the Defense Department, other departments have been doing so. It's important that, the, that they be based upon the guidelines set out by uh, the Justice Department. Now, I also I think it would be helpful if local stations then disclose to their viewers if that's, you know, that this was based upon a factual report and they chose to use it. But evidently in some cases that's not the case. So anyway. To guarantee that's happening by including that language in the prepackaged report. Yeah, I don't, you know, look, I mean, oh, you mean a disclosure? I'm George W. Bush and I... Well, some way to make sure it couldn't air without the disclosure that you believe is so vital. Uh, you know, Ken, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a procedure that we're going to follow and the local stations ought to if there's a deep concern about that ought to tell their viewers what they're watching yes sir welcome to the crypto teacher and guys please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to please tell your friends and family as you know we're in a period of times uh these are times of biblical uh so please make sure that your friends and family are being educated yes like I stated, this is just a test, but they need to get ready for what's about to happen towards the end of the year. Now, I do want to thank those who've got the book. Thank you a lot. I got questions. I've received plenty of emails and texts. What are, what's the name of your other books? This is not the uh, YouTube channel uh, to talk about the things that I put in my other books. So. If you do want to know the name of my books, just email me or send a comment. I'll send you the link to the other books, you know, about the New World Order. This is about crypto, so I like to keep it about crypto. I do like to make you think, though, but I don't want to put my other books up here because I want you to focus on the money. I don't want you to get distracted. So, but uh, the crypto market, as we can see, uh, has went up like I stated you can easily see the stable coins are being pumped everybody's looking at a chart but the main chart you have to look at is what the Fed is doing and what stable coins are doing stable coins are the reserve currency of the crypto market that's what they are they're acting as the dollar the dollar is still the most powerful currency on the planet it hasn't lost its value as strong as basically we're going through hyperinflation right now so as we can see also uh, the Fed is trying to get down Treasury yields now we all know this is planned though they're not trying they, they've given the perception that they're trying so basically Treasury yields are pumping you know the rates are, are going up while they just dropped us down to zero so, uh, and, but the real market is going to tell behind the scenes what it is because you still have head fund managers that are going to try to run to get that higher 2%, 2 percent, 2.5 or 3 percent. So this is a game for them. Don't worry about that. Guys, this is all going to settle down. This is just, remember I said, this is just a test for what's about to happen. We're going to move over to the robots, the automation, the AI. And I'm going to, of course, on the weekends, I make you think, so I'm going to go over a couple of videos. But yes, but cryptos, we're definitely going to be moving up. 
right now stable coins are still getting uh pumped right now so uh it's still under a dollar so we still actually it, it went over a dollar so right now we probably stay stable right now so as i'm speaking we just went over and i send that send that screenshot so we uh we have to look at make sure we look at the basics now i also got a, a lot of emails and texts about what's next as far as with the new world order like what what's the actual plan now as we can see the media created this panic things are shut down you only can group up to a certain amount of people people at home working you don't see anybody uh outside protesting uh on social media hey send send this to your uh representative stop the media from all this hype we need to get back to being normal you don't see any of that because <clears throat> the masses have been dumped dumbed down so bad they don't challenge authority and that's all to say that's why i said we're in biblical days because it talks about that so, but guys, you, you have no uh, challenge to this wicked plan. Not one bit. And it's only been, what, about 100, maybe 120 people that have passed. You can go to the CDC website to see. So we're looking at uh, a virus that's similar to the flu, but not as bad as pneumonia. So as we know, those two kill millions. We know when Obama was in office, we had the swine, the Ebola, that killed a whole lot more people. The New World Order is just flexing their muscle. They're showing you they own all the corporations. They're showing they own all the stocks. So we have to wake up to that. And I am going to put a, um, a page of my book about the New World Order in this video just to show you the accuracy that I had and the reason why is because what was taught to me by my grandmother, what I've been, what I've read over and over and over again as a kid, you know, Anthony Sutton, one of those people, is definitely Malcolm X. Uh, is definitely a uh, a wake up call. Uh, John F. Kennedy. Just like I said, these guys were not murdered for no reason. They saw the plan. They exposed the plan. And the fact is, that's the reason why, you know, uh, they were taken out. So, guys, we have to understand that the New World Order has a plan. That's fine. But you need to have one also. Now, the, the plan that, that's being created, of course, you have the problem, the reaction, and the solution. Remember, that's the Hegelian dialect. Problem, reaction, solution. So what's the problem? The virus? What's the reaction? But people, uh, mass panic, stocks down, uh, businesses are not making any money. What's the solution? Your government comes in and saves you. Now, your government becomes your, your God. The, the Bible tells you how to create a new world order, but it also shows you how to walk into the light. So it's the yin and the yang, the good and evil. That's all it's about, guys. The government created the solution, new world order, creates the, creates the problem. They wait for the reaction, and they're going to run in with the solution. They're going to run in with this free money. Now, once they put this free money out here, what are people going to do? They're going to get addicted. Now what's going to happen? I have this new money that I have over here. Cryptos. So cryptos are digital money. It's imaginary money. I can send people a million dollars if I want to every month. It doesn't exist. So now I want you to see the plan. Hopefully this is opening your eyes up. You're going to get free money right now. This is their perfect time. This is nothing but a plan, guys. They're going to bring in this, this digital money. Start giving you free money every month. Jobs are going to close down. Mass layoffs. 
You're not going to care because you're getting free money. You're paying your bills. You're taking care of your family. You're not going to care. It's called socialism. You're going to get a free check. But socialism can only last for maybe one or two years. And then you have to move over to communism. Or you have to do whatever they say to get this check. Get this vaccine. Take this chip. That's where you're headed to, guys. It's plain and simple. It's easy to see when you open your eyes up. But we're definitely, at the end of the year, we're definitely going to get mass layoffs. We're definitely going to get mass closings. Plain and simple. Did these companies lose any money? No, they did not. Did mom and pops lose a lot of money? Yes. But these corporations are not losing anything. Because every time you turn around, you see a billion dollar bill pass. Billion dollar bill pass. What happened to the stock money? Guys, if 11, if 11.5 trillion, even though it's been more than that, but let's just give 11.5 trillion was off that, that was taken out of the market. Where did that money go to? It went into somebody's hands. Somebody sold it. Was called, it's, they said it was panic selling because of the virus. Where did this money go? It went back into their hands. So then therefore, they can implement what they're trying to do. They have 11.5 trillion to get us over to blockchain crypto system that's all this was about and the people are going to open up opening arms remember i said i said this when i first started this video and i have it written in my book years ago that they're going to uh bring in this system and if it's not in the right hands it's the mark of the beast because technology is great in the right hands and the wrong hands is horrible and if you look at all of your comic book characters and you actually see the good and evil in all of it, that's all it's about. One, one person wants all the power to take over the globe. You see it in every last one of them. Every last one of them. And that's what we're seeing now. Is this the fact is, is that you're just in reality. They put it on television so you can see it. But the fact is, is that this is your reality. You're just not putting it together. So guys, hopefully we wake up. Blockchain cryptos is the future. Invest now. So therefore, you won't have to do whatever they say. So this is very, very important. That's why I said it's very, very important for us to start educating our friends and family. Because the government is going to come in with the solution. And you're not going to like the solution. Yeah, you may like this free money that they're giving, but pretty soon, it's not going to end well. And guys, don't forget about the book, Crypto Teacher. Get educated about the new system. Also, the uh, website, btcteacher.com. Get educated. Also, get the book. Uh, also, we have the links, Binance, Bitchu, Coinbase for your cryptos. Uh, for your stocks, you can use Robinhood, Webull, Fidelity. Guys, we have stocks. We have the uh, chips, Cobalt, uh, Gaming, your bank stocks, uh, your chip stocks. And now, because they're selling this narrative, we need to go to online. Now you have, of course, your Uber, your Lyft. Your blue apron, anybody who's making food and sending it to people, their stock's going to go up. Anything that's online that's sending to people is going to start making a lot of money. So remember I said, make sure you look at the narrative and invest in that. Remember, that's what they're selling right now. People are at home working. So now, and the kids are at home. So we need to make sure that we're looking at the different stocks to invest in to make that quick pop, to make that quick money. Please, guys, that's easy money. But that's all I have for you guys, and y'all have a wonderful day.